In this example, all of the picket fence units are going in the same direction because I've sewn in the same direction on the diagonal lines. However, if you would like your picket fences to change directions, you can mark your, your diagonal lines going in different directions. Then once you cut them apart, you'll have units that look like this, and then you'll have other units that have the corners on the other side. In this example, I have taken two coordinating pieces of fabric, starched and ironed them until they're fairly stiff. And once I get through with this unit, I'm going to have strips that have little diamonds in them once you sew them into your project. Because once the seam allowance is taken up, the diamond will appear. The first step is marking the diagonal lines. And on these units, I just mark back and forth in the diagonal lines. And then at the bottom, I make sure that the diagonal lines, when I mark them, are also going in the same direction as the ones at the top. In addition, I'll mark the vertical and the horizontal lines. Once the unit is marked, it looks like this. The next step is to take the unit to the sewing machine and begin sewing on the diagonal lines and just sew back and forth on the diagonal lines and then back and forth on the diagonal lines at the bottom. Then take a straight edge line up your vertical lines in your slots, and then cut along the straight edge of your ruler. Once the straight edge is cut, you will notice that you have a middle line that you've created when you've overlapped the bottom and the top markings. Take your scissors and cut through that middle line from one side to the other. Next, take the unit to the ironing board and press the corners out. Once the corners are pressed out, take your straight edge and cut off the back of the triangles to reduce the bulk. Once the triangles are cut off, you have a perfectly squared up unit ready for your project that will show up as diamonds when a quarter of inch uh, seam allowances are sewn into the project. On this last example, we're going to end up with a unit that looks like this. In a way this was accomplished, I selected this time three coordinating pieces of fabric. With my glue pen, I marked a little spot of glue in the seam line in four different places. Then I flipped over the coordinating fabrics, pressed them down on the glue spots so that my unit then looks like this. Next, I take my sticks and stones ruler and I lined it up on my fabric and marked my lines. And this time, when I marked, I marked with my lines going back and forth. And again at the bottom, the same thing, going back and forth. And you can see here, the lines are a mirror image of each other. I still marked my vertical lines in this example and my little horizontal lines. Once everything is marked, your unit will look like so. Then I took my rotary cutter and I started cutting the units apart, all the way down on the vertical lines. Once the unit is cut apart, this is the way it looks. The next step would be to take this unit, open it up, and press it open, like I've done here. Once it's pressed open, it looks like this. The last step is to take your straight edge and cut off the excess behind the corners. And you have a perfectly squared up unit ready to go in your project with the uh, corners in different fabrics. 
Now in this example, you see that I have the triangles and mirror images of each other. But as I've shown you in other examples, those corners could also be going in the opposite directions. In all the other examples, you will uh, notice that I have been using just the width of the ruler. But you may also cut your strip longer than the width of the ruler, and as you do your marking, just continue to move your ruler down on your fabric as I've done here. And you can see that I have a much larger piece of fabric. And the sewing is still going to be the same. I would just continue all the way to the end of my markings and then turn around and continue sewing at the bottom. This way you create more units um, with one sewing. Let's do a little recap on the sticks and stones. In this uh, example that we made, we constructed this unit here which can become a housetop block or or part of your housetop block, or part of the Christmas tree block. And the way we accomplished that was drawing our lines and our slots in a zigzag, and then doing a mirror image of those lines on the bottom. So when we did our sewing, we sewed in a zigzag, skipped down to the bottom, and sewed in a zigzag. Opened it up, and that became this unit. The next example is where we had this unit, where the triangles on the end are actually going in the opposite direction. In order to accomplish that, your lines are drawn going in the same direction on the top and on the bottom. And you'll notice that the, the bottom lines and the top lines actually go in the same direction. Then for the picket fence unit, you only draw one set of lines at the top of your uh, unit in that uh, direction. Or if you want your pickets going in different directions, then you may go in a zigzag with your line. And then to create the diamond unit, you mark your diagonal lines going in a zigzag and then uh, mark your lines on the bottom going in the same direction and your horizontal line is your common line in this example.